survivor. I think it's great to see everyone come together as survivors and all the support that people come down for the walk. I have a family history of cancer. My mother and her five sisters passed away with breast cancer and cervical cancer. It impacts so many people and so many families. And I think everyone's been touched or knows somebody who knows someone who has had breast cancer. I'm a survivor. Three months remission. There's no trace of my family. Like none of there's no cancer history. Nobody has breast cancer. It came out of nowhere and it's like it can't happen to anybody, you know? I just think it's a really great opportunity to bring recognition to this disease, to show all how many people have survived and how many people it affects. I'm here walking in, in memory of my late sister, Marlene, Karen, Avery, and for myself. And for other women, my grandchildren, my granddaughters. The camaraderie and just the good feeling. We actually, we, we've done this before we even had um, breast cancer. One year I did this the day after I came out of surgery in the wheelchair. Carrie died on November 23rd. In October, she did the walk. And she believed that there would be a cure. And I believe there will be two. We make this a tradition, and it's a very special tradition that I can be here in celebration of her and be with her. And just nothing like doing the walk and holding her hand.